So in this example, we're going to create a database manually using the create database statement. So the first thing I want to do is check my environment variables. So I'm going to do that. In this case, my Oracle SID is going to be OCM. So now let's go ahead and create some um, directories. I want to create my admin directory. It's not already there, so let's go ahead and do that. go ahead and make some directories in where the files go. So I'm going to go ahead and make um, their minus p of uh, um, or a data slash OCM make dir of fast recovery. Okay, and Alrighty, so now, so let's go back to the admin directory. It's going to be file. There's nothing there now. Um, I've already created these files for the interest of time, so let's um, do this. Let's do cp. So I created three files. One is my init.or, my initial p file. Um, I created a create database statement, which we're going to look at. And, th and then I have this thing called create packages, which we'll look at also. So the first thing we want to do is let's go ahead and look at the init OCM.or. So, so um, database name here is OCM. Um, notice now this the audit. Um, trail uses the Oracle base admin um, directory. The DB file recover, recovery to desk to, um, is user to recovery area, which we created. Notice that um, this uses the word OCM also. Um, the undo table space needs to be precise uh, as well as the control files because uh, we're going to refer to them in the create database statement itself. Notice, oh, I'm going back here, notice the DB domain. So our SID is called OCM, but our domain is called us.oracle.com. So that means our service name is going to be a combination of OCM and the us.oracle.com. So OCM.us.oracle.com will be the service name. And so that's our initial init.org. File, our initial p file. Let's go ahead and look at the create database statement to view create d, create db.sql. So we're going to create a database called OCM. Um, incidentally, we get these. We got these two files, or I built these two files from the database administrator's guide. So so during the exam, we have to just basically cut and paste this stuff from the database administrator's guide. So we're going to create a the OCM directory, I'm sorry, the OCM database, and notice we have the log files specified, and uh, what else do we have? System table space, sys AUX table space, oh, the temp table space, and the um, undo table space table space is also mentioned here. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to do a startup no mount. So let's do that. Let's come up with us. Now 
we're going to run our create database statement at create db sql Okay, the database got created. The last step here um, before we move on to other things is to create the views and packages. So um, actually let's look at um, the file that I created called create packages. Okay. Actually there's three, three important statements in there. Um, we're going to run catalog, cat proc, and pup build. Um, this is also mentioned in the administrator's guide. But notice that when to create the catalog and cat proc, you have to do that as sys. But the pup build, you need to do that as system. So that's an important step. So let's go ahead and do at create packages.sql. And this actually takes a while, so I'll probably speed through this. Okay, and the next step after we've created the database we want to do is create the password file. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, sometimes you don't remember the syntax, so you can just go or a PWD and it gives you the syntax right there. So we're going to go or a PWD file is equal to or a PW OCM. Notice that the equal sign, there's no spaces around that. And the syntax is, the file name is going to be or a PW OCM. It's going to prompt us for the sys password, so that's easy. And we're done. Now after we've created the um, the password file, we're going to create the SP file. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, SQL, SQL plus So let's go ahead and create SP file is equal to. So I put this in the Oracle home. SP file OCM.ora. That's also the correct file name. And we're going to say from memory. Now let's test this out. So let's do a shutdown. Immediate. And let's do a start button. In this next step, we're actually going to create a listener. Uh, um, it turns out that I wiped out everything and created this database, but I didn't create the listener. So let's go ahead and create that. Um, do that we have a CD dollar Oracle home network admin lo and behold we have a listener.org now listener.org and there's our listener that looks good so let's log into our database again so we 
make sure we have uh, we say alter system register. This will re register our database with the listener. Let's go back out and do it. service called ocm.us.oracle.com. Now that we've created a database and registered it with the listener, uh, um, let's go ahead and create some TNS names entries and connect to the database. So let's go, uh, we are already in that directory, but notice we don't have a TNS names created just yet, so let's go ahead and create one at CA. plus the domain name. The host name is Mrs. A. Let's not perform the test. Oh, and we, what do we want to call this name? We're going to call it OCM test. She is. So, okay, let's do a TNS ping of OCM test. And that works. Let's go to SQL plus system slash node at OCM test. And that works. And let's try SQL plus system slash node at base slash one as I want column 15 by one slash um, OCM dot US dot In this last step, I want to do a cold backup of this particular database. Recall that um, I just created it. Um, that doesn't. It's not in archive log mode, and there is no RMAN catalog associated with it. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and create up a backup directory. Let's So now um, the, the first thing we have to do is bring this down into mount mode. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go plus SSPA, shut down immediate. Startup mount. Okay, so now let's do an RMAN backup. So let's go RMAN, RMAN, target slash no catalog. Let's go backup full as compressed backup set. Device, device type, disk format. So we don't have any archive logs, so we'll just say database. And let's bring the database back. 